The Turtle Mountain Reservation, tucked in the low rolling hills along North Dakota's Canadian border. It's an area that often gets overlooked in our region of the country, so we thought we'd give you a look around the home of the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa Indians. Over 14,000 people live on or near the reservation, which is uh, 72 square miles. Its largest employers are the government, schools, and casino. Across the casino parking lot is the Heritage Center. Yes, yes, everything around here is done by local people. Okay, right here we have, everything is kind of history. Yeah. A history stretching back across generations to other tribes on the east coast of the United States. In our modern world, some of Belcourt's institutions carry familiar political names like the Quentin Burdick Hospital and Clinic and the Senator Byron Dorgan Youth Wellness Center. We do a lot of high performance training with our athletes. Okay. Um, when I first started work here, it was uh, more like a community, um, you know, functional. We huh? work with the schools, things like that. Now we're just, we focus on getting our kids in the area for our, our sports and uh, training them to a, a really high level so they can compete, uh, hopefully get, earn their way for a scholarship, things like that. Okay. Heat changes when it comes winter time. It goes down to about um, 50 degrees because it's a different mm -hmm. type of material, yeah. a thin building, but for the most part, we're still able to get our athletes in here and okay. still train the way we need. How about folks around the community? Can you come in and watch? Yeah, and a lot of our elders and uh, you know, men, women, children, uh, strollers, people with babies, they come yeah. in and they can use the track, whatever they feel. And okay, um, it's a it's a really good place for everybody to come and just you know let loose and just yeah. you know be yourself, you know, a little okay. bit of exercise. So. And like every other community, there are problems with drugs and alcohol, but the tribe is taking a big step forward in dealing with it. Ground is being broken this month for the new Turtle Mountain Recovery Center. The tribe also maintains a homeless shelter. The manager of it says around half a dozen folks a night are using it during the summer months. Some of them are already have jobs and use it as a place to get back on their feet as they work on their personal struggles. And the tribe also has its Mother Teresa of sorts. Velma Wilkie and her team provide thousands of meals a year at Velma's Soup Kitchen. So how many folks, are you guys open every day? Or? Every day, Monday through Friday. Okay, one meal a day? Yes, and that's like four o'clock. Okay, get quite a few people through here? Well, most of the time we get over 500. Oh, really? Every day, yeah. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I'll kind of every town across our region has Facilities yes. like yours and a lot of people going through, so. Yes. All right. So what do you serve up every day? It depends. Uh, I like to give them a good meal, home-cooked meal. Yeah. And, uh, like, we just make our own menus and okay. serve from there. That's quite a meal you got to cook every day. Yep. Today we're having sloppy joes and uh, fries. So how much hamburger does that take? Oh, I usually cook about 100 pounds. <laughs> depending on what I'm going to cook. All right. All right. So you're a hard little worker. Mm, yes, but I got a good crew. Oh, okay. I have a really good crew. And the reservation, like every other community, is dealing with providing enough affordable housing. There are over half a dozen housing developments on the reservation. Some housing is subsidized by the tribe, and some of it is rent-to-own. Here's Tribal Chairman Jamie Azure to talk about all that and other issues as we show you around the Belcourt area. Yeah, uh, I know it has been an issue for almost decades, but we've made a, uh, a great strides in the last five or six years to uh, try to resolve some of the issues that we've had. Uh, a lot of those issues stem from the event that we're at today with, uh, with abuse and, mm -hmm. uh, and drug use in our communities that we're trying to you know, make a uh, significant impact on stopping those. We've had um, meth homes where, it's, where it takes over a month to, uh, if it's tested for meth, then it takes over a month to open up one of these homes. Uh, we've also- to get them cleaned up. And yep, yep, yep. And it's a whole process, yeah. you know, and it's not only here, it's everywhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, uh, like I always say, it's sometimes that, since we're a reservation, we sometimes get a microscope over, mm -hmm. the, over the top of us, and it yeah. seems like things are bigger than it is yeah. You know, here than it is everywhere else. Yeah. But, you know, I've lived other places and it's the same. They got it all over. Yeah. So, 
Um, are, are you, did any of the CARES money or federal money, is that anything that's going to be used for housing? Or, yes. And how does your housing work? Do you do a, a subsidy or here's a rent to own? Or I'm not it, sure. It's a little bit of everything. Okay. Uh, we do have a housing authority. Yeah. Uh, so it, it is a, a separate entity that is underneath the tribal umbrella. Um, a lot of these questions would probably be yeah. better answered by the housing director. But I can comment on there. There are. We're probably into the tens of millions that were shifted over to help address some of the issues from some uh, the relief money that was provided to the tribe. So you've got uh, money coming in to do some of these projects now. Uh, we we get uh, yearly projects. Uh, we work with our EPA and our uh, God. I can't think of what the other program is. It's uh, yeah, the Brownsville, the Brownsville projects. Okay. Uh, so we were able to take down our old Barnesville, which was La Belle Cour. Uh, housing projects a few years back those were always uh 60 year old barn style homes that were basically dilapidated and used for zero income homes. so any overall some new housing is coming in absolutely there's a 52 uh 52 apartment complex that will be on the grounds that the old housing was taken down on we had to leave it for a year to green zone it and take out some of the asbestos that yeah. were on the outside lining of water so that is coming. We've uh, started a new development that's hooked onto an old development. And I believe there were 10 homes there in the last year. And we have shifted funds from the tribe to the housing to contract out the uh, remodeling of the home. So we're not pulling maintenance off of uh, the housing authority. Because we have numerous housings that are spread apart. So it's yeah. it's quite the... Uh, There's actually like the over half a dozen uh, housing areas housing sites yeah. yeah okay so all right so we're we're trying to uh yeah. we're trying to add relief to everything across the board you no know, I, I would say that the numbers that are taken for high unemployment were taken probably in the 2000 census okay now if you go out now if you get on social media right now our local businesses cannot find people to okay. uh, to come and work so with our uh booming college that we have plus with uh some of the relief programs that we've done with COVID-19, mm -hmm. I would say that our unemployment rates are drastically different than what people uh, report that they are. Okay. So what I'm seeing online with a lot of stuff, it's probably a lot better than that. I, I would say what you're, what you're reading are a lot of the old, uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to say, uh, I would say some of the older issues that we have been addressing. It's just nothing takes, nothing happens overnight. Right. So, uh, yeah. A lot of the issues that you're probably reading online are being addressed at some level and hopefully here in the near future that we can you know come back and do a nice big story um, you know we've got a lot of good things happening yeah. here in the turtle mountains but you know what we're a long way from perfect yeah. you know and but we're getting there we're getting closer we're on the right track so from belcourt north dakota on the turtle mountain reservation i'm neil carlson reporting for inews.tv